a beautiful morning to you viewers welcome to another beautiful episode on this segment on daybreak africa i am angela Daku, and today's topic will be on feminism in nigeria well i have an entrepreneur with me today to discuss this in personal Rufina Akindu. you're welcome to the program good morning how are you i'm fine thank you yeah hey, thank you well firstly i would like to uh, ask you to explain or break down the history and purpose of feminism in nigeria um, this particular uh, feminism has been a very good uh, thing for women to give them the privilege to showcase their own self. And the whole thing started during this about women riots. Mm -hmm. So a lot happens in those periods in which women were agitating on how they can make themselves their voices known to the public because a lot of them are in there women and men doesn't really allow them to come out to do most of the things mm. they will want they will want to dominate so at this particular uh these riots they decided no oh, they want to be they want their voices to be heard and not only in uh, in africa it all happens throughout the world australia a lot of women agitate to make things work. 1929 in Australia, at least there were some women that came out to tell them that this particular thing they can do in which these men are not giving them the privilege to do. So this has been the, the, the problem right from onset. It's not just about now. But well, we can see now that feminist, the feminism today has taken another tone in people's interpretation. So what's your reaction to this? Actually, I don't really uh, accept or go along with that. It has, it has not really taken any other form. Purpose, it has maintained its own thing. What they are actually looking for. A lot of men don't really agree with this. They think women are, are, are coming up to take up their own responsibilities from them. Mm. And as for me, I don't take it. I don't, I don't accept it in any form. Well, how about these people who kind of throw hate words to men and say all sort of things which are not actually related to feminism as it is as a whole? If you look at those people vividly, a lot of them might have passed through some kind of uh, ill treatment for men. Before any woman could come out to point accusing finger on anybody, if you look through very well, you will have known that there must have been some kind of thing that made them to react in that form. Women are very, they are very quiet in, in, in some aspect. But when they cannot contain that particular thing, they decided in every strength they have, they want to fight it out. So men will not want to, they wouldn't want, they wouldn't want that. They will take it for another thing that, oh, this particular person is, you know, he doesn't, she doesn't want to give in to what I'm saying. I never ask. I will never. I, will, I won't take that. Then what does it really mean to be a feminist? Oh, you know, this feminist is telling us that there is equality between women and women. For us to showcase our rights, that we have rights. The same right that this man has, mm. that we too we have it. There are a lot of things that happens outside Nigeria in which they made women to sit at home. You neither go to go out to vote. You can't drive a car in, in Arab country. There are a lot of things that happen. So this thing brings all this agitation that makes them to say no. We want to say no to all this. That is the beginning of the whole thing. But why is it that um, people, some, some people rather, see feminism as a negative thing, even both women and men? I've, I've rightly said, I said, 
before anybody could react in a negative way. He or she must have been in that situation before she could complain. So that is all that. Well, from recent happenings, would you say the purpose of feminism has been met? Sure. It has really been met. These are the kind of women in which that has given us that feminism are really, really working. Obese Kweseli was once a minister for education. I mean, education. He works as a, a, a and he works in another office. At least, I became to three times out of representative. These people are not, they are doing a very good job. They still do their good job. Well, how will you rate it? In what way? Okay, from the scale of one to ten. Wow. Mm, let, me, let me put it for seven. Okay. Let me put it for seven. That means it's really making progress. It's really, really making progress. If the women, out there, at this, I mean, they decided that they want to make things work when they make their own decision. Very, very. And they will make it. So that is all that. Well, from your perspective, do you think feminism is only related to or is only meant for the Westerners? No. Like, you know, I said this earlier on. If you go to Finland, majority of the houses, I mean, the, the, the officers, the major keys, I mean, the stakeholders in Finland, women dominate. They dominate their place, I mean, the, 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 the country. So it is not only applicable to Africa. It's all over the world. Well, it is realistic to say women and men are different due to their various physical and um, genital makeups. But does it mean that gender is more uh, superior to the other? <laughs> <laughs> no, we are never, never, never. You know, in Africa setting, that is where we allow that gender, male gender, are more superior. But when you go outside the world, you will discover that they have equal rights in everything. So I never agree to that. Well, I'm quoting um, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Yeah. Uh, she said, it made sense years ago when physically stronger persons was made likely to lead because human beings then lived in a world where the physical strength was the most important attribute for survival. Although now we are in a vastly different world where the person more likely to lead is more creative, intelligent, innovative person, which is not tied to a particular gender. Now my question is, why is there still gender inequality in play today? Majority of we women, we, we don't want to come out because of what we see as this problem. Men, they want to dominate. And some women, they might not really want it to be pushed aside. That's true. They want to showcase their own thing. They want their voices to be heard. They want to give what they actually have to the world. But men doesn't give them the right to do that. Because why? This is where we are, Africa. As a woman in a home, the man will tell you, I am the boss of this place. And the woman just have to be submissive to whatever decision the man is making. Whether this particular thing suit her or not so as for me i think the 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 the, the equality thing is actually having problem here in africa mm. well recent times women are actually taking power and responsibilities all over the world but yet again people say the Achievement of a woman is a threat to a man sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so how does this play? <laughs> you know, I've said it all. It is only when you see a woman as a threat to a particular position. That is, that is where you have problem with them. But the moment you see them, you, when you don't see them as a low, 
uh, person to you, mm -hmm. you won't have issues. You will, say, you, you, will, you will gladly accept whatever she brings along with it. You go along with her decision. You sit. You deliberate. And there won't be a problem. But the moment you see that, oh, this person is having upper hand more than I do, mm -hmm. she can deliver more than myself, yes. you begin to see a problem in her. That is where the problem comes in. Well, from your own perspective, uh, how do you think, uh, well, let me come from the children angle now, starting from raising a child. Do you think that children, both male and female, should be raised in the same way? Because you discover that it is the way you train your child, that's how the child grows. Yeah. So this Charity thing starts from something. mentality. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you, how would you address this? Um, I will, I will say that Male and female should be trained the same way. Don't differentiate between them. When you have them at home, don't differentiate. Let the male sweep. Let them go to kitchen. Let them do all sorts of work. Don't limit the house show to female children alone. Allow your kids. Let them interact between themselves. There. By the time they go out, they will never see a problem outside. They will never differentiate between a male or female child when they grow up. Well, I was having an argument with a colleague recently concerning yeah. this feminism. Yeah. And he was like, okay, the, the women are fighting for equal rights in the society. Fine. But why is it that a woman lays her hand on a man? And it is not a problem. But when a man lays his hand on a woman, <laughs> it becomes a problem. Um, with that, it is it is a bit. Uh, uh, it, when you, when you when you bring it out, when you have out of what you have just said, you have one percent of that before a woman could lay hands on a man, uh, on, uh, on, 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 on a man. Mostly, they see it even on in the Bible. They said, women are the vicar vessels, I mean, the vessels. You treat them the way you should treat yourself. It is quite difficult for a, 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 a woman to treat, to treat a man unfairly. But every of these things comes from male. That is why the society frown at this. They see it as a problem when a man treats a woman unjustly. Yeah. Well, my last question is, how can this gender injustice be addressed rightly to produce fairness to the existence of human in general? Wow. You asked a question the other time that the way we treat our kids matters most. Yes. Because that is where the problem comes from. The society, the family we are talking about, starts from somewhere. And that is the home. To the next generation that are coming now, it's better for us to see them as one. Don't ever treat a, a male child differently from a female child. Treat them equally. Don't say, oh, this is my son. He's, I'm well pleased with him. And you have a female there. In within her, she will feel hurt that, oh, is it because I'm a female? That is why my mom or my dad is treating me this way. But the moment you are treating them in a way in which they don't have problem with themselves, mm. when they go out, they will do the same. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your time. It has been a wonderful discourse so far. Thank you so much. Well, viewers, have you heard? It is better we start from the root to address this inequality issue in the society. Train your child, your children rather, equally in order for this mentality to change in Africa. And we shall definitely have a good nation. Well, till we meet again next time with another interesting topic, I remain Angela Daku. Have a nice day. <laughs>